Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm bringing you an update on my Nepenthes Ventrata uh, basil shoe cuttings that I did. Uh, this is like a seven month update. It's been a little bit and I just kind of wanted to show you what these look like. My last update was I think about three months ago and they weren't doing so hot. So I wanted to bring you this update and show you that uh, with a little bit of uh, patience and, and perseverance that they've actually uh, really started to do well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, Nepenthes Ventrata here. Real quick before I do that though, I just wanted to thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday and uh, you being here and then supporting me is, is really appreciated. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's been a lot of growing going on since then. I even have a couple of pictures that have sprouted here. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to kind of show you these guys one at a time here. I'm going to bring this one up forward here first. Uh, you can see uh, the leaves are really green. It's looking pretty healthy. And I actually finally have a little pitcher here. Um, I wasn't sure if these were ever going to pitcher, if these were ever going to take off. But uh, this plant here has a nice little pitcher popping up. And then I also have another one um, that's starting to develop right here. Uh, after you have these plants for a little while, you can tell uh, when these are going to actually pitcher and when they're not. And this one definitely looks like one that's going to take off and pitcher. So uh, this one's starting to pitcher. It's looking pretty good. Uh, the other one that I wanted to kind of highlight here real quick is this big one here. This is the one that was always the biggest and probably the most healthy. Uh, but as you can see, it's actually doing a really good job. It's really taken off and we have this nice size pitcher popping up here. Uh, so it looks, look, this one's looking really good too. This one is getting closer to kind of a, a bigger uh, Nepenthes ventrale. You can see there's another one there that's probably going to pitcher. And then this one here looks pretty promising too. This one still could kind of go either way, but that does look like one that's probably going to pitcher as well. Uh, if I continue to give this the right uh, conditions. Uh, that one there looks pretty healthy. It looks pretty good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if all of these started pitchering, um, except for these little ones in here that are kind of dead uh, and haven't really done anything. Uh, but as the new growth pops up, I'd be pretty surprised if they didn't all start to pitcher. So that one's doing really, really good. Uh, this one here, um, it's definitely putting out new growth. It's doing really well. It's really green. It's beautiful, uh, but it hasn't really shown any pitcher promise yet. None of these actually look like they're going to pitcher yet. And that's kind of the same story for the other two, uh, two here. So I have the three, or I'm sorry, the two that are pitching really well, um, and then the other three are actually just kind of putting out some really nice green leaves, um, but they're not quite ready to pitcher yet. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm staying patient and I think that they will. Uh, the cool thing is, is that some of these are putting out uh, multiple, multiple growth points. Uh, let me see if I can find one here real quick. Like if you look at this one here, if you get in there, you can see that there's a growth point coming off the right there and then the main stem going off to the left. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you. There you go. Now you can kind of see that there's two, one off to the left there and then one going straight up. Those are two growth points. So uh, this is kind of cool that it's actually putting out two separate points of growth. You can see there's the two top of the plants right there. Uh, so actually, you know, in a little while I could probably even do another cutting, um, cut off one of these and then start a new plant from one of these as well. So uh, they're doing really well. I think the biggest tip right now um, for these is just to be patient. Uh, this. This Nepenthes cutting is not a quick process. I, I'm sure that there must be a quicker way of doing it. Um, I didn't use any, um, you know, like rooting powder or anything like that. Uh, I just kind of stuck them in the sphagnum moss and I let it grow. I've been keeping them around 50 to 60% humidity, occasionally running a humidifier around them. Um, but for the most part, the humidity hasn't been like super high. Uh, 50 to 60 is pretty standard and not too hard to hit. I'm in the winter here in the Northwest and it is a little bit drier right now. Um, so I have seen it kind of go down into the 40s a little bit, but for the most part it's in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so staying not super humid, but also not completely dry. So these Nepenthes Vendrata really do thrive in higher humidity, but they don't absolutely have to have higher humidity. You'll probably get better pictures, they'll grow faster, and they'll do better with the higher humidity. But you can put these in a windowsill with the lower humidity and they'll do just fine. I've, I've had a lot of success with these plants here in the Pacific Northwest. And that's not like inside of a terrarium or you know anything it's actually just sitting in windowsills these ones have been um, sitting under a sansi grow light uh, i have not kept these ones in the windowsill uh, but i have had success with with these in the windowsill uh, i probably keep these with about oh i don't know 12 hours uh, or so um, a night with the with that light on uh, so they're seeing about 12 hours of, of light with the, the sansi grow i think it's a 36 watt grow light so it's a pretty nice um, um grow light uh, it's kind of powerful and, and there's not a lot of plants under that light. It's pretty much just these so they're getting the majority of it um, but 
uh, yeah, they're starting to do pretty well, and I, I feel like they're uh, getting to the point to where I can probably start uh, finding people to give these to, or even potentially sell them locally here. Uh, so that's that's kind of was my goal with these, is see if I can get these to a point where, you know, <laughs> I, uh, I could sell these. Now, with that being said, I gotta figure out a way to speed up the process, because obviously seven months is not very quick. Although my two main Nepenthes Ventrata plants that I started, or, or that I bought for these, have just gone so crazy. So I, I probably am going to start cutting those back and, um, you know, rooting those cuttings, uh, just because I, I've, they're they're too big. I don't have enough space in my house, and I don't have enough light to give them the proper amount of coverage. As parts of the plants are getting light, and parts of them are not. So. Uh, I gotta figure out to do with those, but now that I know that I can make cuttings work, I'll probably just start doing cuttings for those. But uh, maybe here pretty soon I'll give you an update on those uh, and show you how those are doing. They're doing pretty well, um, they're growing like crazy, but uh, I'll definitely do a video when I decide to cut those down and, and plant those. But yeah, so just be patient, uh, get these these cuttings into um, either into water, I've seen people do it into water, uh, or get them into the sphagnum moss so that they can start rooting and they do just take a really long time. You just have to be really, really patient and uh, they, they will start to take off eventually just like these ones have. So uh, that was just a quick update guys. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, you being here and supporting me is, is, is just so appreciated and, and thank you so much. But um, I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.